This is amazing, people. For the size of your palm, way less than your palm, that is, to be able to play Final Fantasy VII, I never saw that that day will come. <laughs> So recently I gave my Ambernec RG351V model to my nephew because I haven't seen him for a very long time and I want him to have good memories of me. But also I actually have all my favorite arcade games stored into my Steam Deck as well. But I just realized one of the biggest reasons I gave away that model to my nephew is because of the portability. I really wanted something that is really portable that you can use it like a key ring almost. Um, that is something that the RG351V model cannot fulfill. It's, it was still chunky. But in fact, Ambernic has released a very interesting model recently that is called the RG Nano here, people. And apparently this is a big hit. So I'm very excited to do an unboxing and figure it out how good this device is. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so let's open it up. And this is the instruction manual we get a really nice sort of key ring effect here look at that how tiny it is it's a really good weight i think this is where the speaker comes in and that's where you put in your uh, key ring sort of accessories usb and dc plug and power and wow we got the uh, micro sd card actually already plugged in here and the default is 64 gigabytes of memory and this is what i'm really pleased about this these are the extra um, r1 and l1 button as well which you do need as well i love the blue color this is probably the best choice out of the three that you can get oh actually it comes with two different um covers so this is for the standard usb-c to usb and that's the extension for the dc purpose isn't it Cool, Ambernic. Okay, so you can actually set up your timing as well. All right, to start with, we got on the emulator side, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, uh, Nash, Lynx, uh, Master System, Mega Drive, NGP, NES, PC Engine, PlayStation 1, really good, okay. Uh, Poke Mini, uh, Soul Retro Test, uh, Super Nintendo ES, <laughs> SMS Plus, GX, Swan Emulation, um, I haven't heard of this one actually, it's VBE Emulation, Wonder Swan as well. On the game side, um, we only have few games here that you just want to uh, check. There are only six games as a default. On the media, you can actually use this as a media player, music player as well. So that's very clever. So this can become a small, tiny uh, video player, but also an MP3 player. You got 64 gigabytes of memory. And on the uh, Metro Arch, we got FBA 2012, Game Battle, I think that's what it's for. FBA 2012, Fake 08. Uh, there's Mame 2000, that's really good. Pico Drive, PCE Fast, Poke Mini, quickness uh, SMS plus GX and so on so there's Super Nintendo uh, various console as well so on the settings you can actually do your own sort of customization as well wallpaper reboot and so on application you could do Explorer um, and also input tester commander uh, key clack not sure what this is for actually but maybe performance ST soul and so on. I mean, look at that. You can almost use this device as an external memory drive. You can manage to get a terabyte memory card slotted in here because arcade games don't really take up that much of memory if you think about it. So you can easily plug in and it goes well and it feels good having this tiny device that could play a classic arcade game next to your laptop as well. Okay, so for the copyright purpose, I have actually um, put the volume right away down but you can see that there's no lagging whatsoever on the Ridge Racer 4 this is the PS1 game and I remember when I was actually using the Ambernic uh, 351V for Ridge Racer 3 that was 
um, there was several points that was lagging while as this one you can't really feel any lagging whatsoever and it's really smooth so there's a great improvement here and that's very cool indeed and this is one of the favorite side of Ridge Race so if you actually do a steep curve you break and then you turn you can actually make a oh not this time but um, that's why Ridge Racer game series are so fun to do actually so yeah it's really good and um, the graphics as well is pretty impressive it's just that we got a really tiny screen um, but regards to the actual processor uh, of like rendering and so on you're not going to experience any lagging on the PlayStation 1 games that is available. There you go, people. This is Final Fantasy 7. And um, we're actually seeing the intro. There's no lagging whatsoever. And we're about to start the game as well. So let's see how well it performs. And then Barrett is coming out signaling. Okay, so this is all in foreign language, by the way. So let's actually run. So that's very good. Yeah, so Cloud seems to be doing very well. There was a slight lagging there. I don't know whether you noticed, but... That's not bad, actually. But, um, yeah, you can actually play the game normally. And um, we're actually playing a PlayStation 1, one of the best old-time Final Fantasy series playable less than the size of your palm final fantasy 7 so that's really impressive and i'm really happy i'm all over the moon at the moment so you don't notice there is no volume up and down but no worries if you actually press the power on and off button you can actually adjust the brightness um, you can actually save the slot uh, you can actually load it uh, aspect ratio you can change as well exit game and that's how you can adjust the volume. Initially I was slightly annoyed but um, you get really used to it very quickly. All you need to do is just press this and up and down and it's all good to go. Yeah so I have to say what it comes with the default games is pretty impressive as well so just to give you an idea if I were to go to PC Engine there are quite a lot of games that I'm not really familiar with but if you actually see the scrolling here, it gives you the idea how many games are available. If we were to go back on the PlayStation 1 side, if we press accept, yeah, we got the Dragon Ball and also Resident Evil 3, Crash Bandicoot as well, and um, Ridge Racer and Final Fantasy. Uh, just to let you know, the one that I actually bought, actually it, many of them are in Japanese language, but you could always download the similar files online and then you can play it as well but there are tons of games available and no wonder why when it comes to default the 64 gigabytes is almost full now when it comes to searching games that's probably one of the weak point actually on the rg351 v model you're able to go into the magnifier to be able to quickly search the games that you want to find while as here if i go to the main 2000 emulator uh, you have to literally scroll down or you could actually do a bit of a quick scrolling by pressing the R1 button here but still you're not able to do a quick search by typing words and so on so you got you need a bit of a patient to be able to find uh, certain games that you want to play with there you go people this is the King of Fighters 94 and there's no lagging whatsoever is there so um, let's see how well the game itself performs on this uh, emulator. Okay, so it all seems to be good so far. Look at that. That's pretty good, isn't it? So, you know, like I know that King of Fighters actually take a lot of memories, but for RG Mini, it's not a problem whatsoever. Oh, look at that. I missed that time when you would be able to gather your energy on King of Fighters 94. So um, let's try to do that. Special move. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I did it. But it was quite challenging. Uh, beat me to it. 
So what can I say? I'm really pleased with the quality of the material and the performance level of this RG Nano. I keep referring to this device as RG Mini because it's so tiny, but yet it's so powerful. It can play most of the PS1 games without any lagging. Well, there was one or two really tiny glimpses on the Final Fantasy VII that I showed you early on, but still you can pretty much play Final Fantasy VII without any problem so far that I have actually played. Now, one of the most annoying thing about this tiny device is that it comes with a very tiny screen, which was predictable. Now, when I was trying to play a game called 1941, which is like a shooting arcade uh, flying game, um, I was struggling to detect the bullets or the missile coming from my opponent. So I just thought I really wanted some sort of like a magnifier of a screen so I'll be able to easily detect that so I could avoid it. You know, those 1941 games or any flight shooting arcade, classical arcade games, the key is to avoid all those bullets or missile coming towards you and you will struggle to play that unless you got a really good sight. I really do have a good sight but I still yet struggle. So let's see if I do manage to find an accessory for that I will let you know uh, as an alternative for that but overall just knowing the fact that I can play King of Fighters or Final Fantasy 7 or most of the main uh, classical games with this tiny device which I failed to see from the fun key S that I actually featured on my channel um, a few years ago. It's a pure delight. I'm sure this will be one of my number one uh, key ring accessories and I'll carry it with me most of the time. So when I commute to work, um, I will play it once I have actually checked my emails for my smartphone, etc. And it's most ideal if you are into classical uh, arcade games, just like myself. So I hope this video helped you understand what this device is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.